Section 3.4 is variation. Um, so direct variation we'll do first. And this would be written this way. Y varies directly with X or Y is directly proportional to X means the same thing or y is proportional to x means the same thing. Those, so that's three different ways of saying the same thing. Okay, what does it mean? It means that y is some constant times x. Uh, the constant k here is called the constant of proportionality. We use K when it's just kind of generic. Sometimes it's something with some meaning like uh, E equals MC squared. The C squared is a constant. It's the square of the speed of light. So the constant of proportionality there would be the C squared. And you're saying that the energy is proportional to the mass. So that's, or varies directly as the mass varies directly with the mass, either way. So joint variation. Y varies jointly with X and Z. So you just have two or more variables that Y varies with. You could also write this, Y varies directly with X and Z. So you could use the word jointly or you could still use the word directly. And what you have to realize is if it says y varies directly with x and z, you don't get two different equations. You just get one equation and you're just multiplying everything on the, other than the y. So y is proportional to x and z. So it just means that y equals k times x times z. Everything is multiplied except for the y, of course. What you're thinking here is that if you're doing an experiment and you're holding X constant, then Y will vary directly with Z. And if you hold Z constant, then Y will vary directly with X. So if you double X, you double Y. If you double Z, you double Y, kind of like that. So I just made a note there. This is one equation, not y equals kx and y equals zx. You won't be able to get the right answer if you do it that way.